Pandemic prompting a service project to make blankets and then to donate them. Right, but when a Utah County boy found that eight blankets wasn't going to be nearly enough, what was supposed to be a 20-hour project turned into much more. New specialist Andrew Adams has the story. Nights tend to pass by slowly when you have time on your hands. It's easier when you gotta occupy yourself some, with something. So 12-year-old Caleb Kanopka put his hands to work. We stick the needle through that hole and then we grab it and then just pull it through the hole. And that's how we tie it. Crafting blankets usually isn't at the top of the list for 12-year-olds. The key is to not be annoyed and to have patience. But who he's making them for? For the primary children's hospital. Has been very top of mind. I thought that would be a good way to give a child comfort because hospitals are not very enjoyable when you're sick. His family knew there was a need. We were talking with the care coordinator at Primary Children's and she said, you know, I have a really hard job. I have to go upstairs and I have to choose eight kids because these are the only blankets in the hospital. And so for a student council service project, uh, we have the blanket room. Kanopka decided to do something about it. So we have a lot here. These are the ones we haven't finished. Since September, he's steadily been adding to the number. Probably 450. With the goal to donate more blankets to Primary Children's Hospital than anyone before him. Their uh, biggest uh, donation was 500 blankets. So I then said right then and there, I want to make 500 on blankets then. Caleb has never given up. He's always just strived to do one more, one more, one more, and... You know, we're so close now that it's within our grasp. It's a goal within the grasp of some very young hands. It's just like, oh, come on, I was doing so good. And if he gets there, it will be time well spent. It helps you, helps people that are in need. Nice story there, Andrew. Of course, the other side of this has been raising money to accomplish this goal. Caleb has made brownies, he's pulled weeds, and even cleaned garbage cans for money. He does also have a GoFundMe trying to reach a $1,500 goal. There's more information on our website, that is KSLTV.com. He says the key is to not be annoyed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great key. All right, look at this.